Hey everybody, how you doing? So, um, I'm back again and everything, and um, um, for this week and everything, I have a, something kind of brand, kind of different from all the usual chainsaws and you know weed eaters and stuff. We got to have this um, two cycle uh, generator. But before I go any longer and stuff or any further, I want to go ahead and, and give a uh, a thank you and a, and a hearty. Um, Hearty Thanksgiving to all all you guys out there. Like it's for me, it's like two days away from Thanksgiving. Uh, right now, there's oh, it's it's really slow. And, you know, kids are not going to school. And, you know, everybody's home. Everybody's getting prepared for Thanksgiving and such. Um, so, um, so I just want to say uh, thank you for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you guys have been watching my videos and subscribing to me. Um, anyway, um, I got this, um, like I said, I got this, uh, uh, um, generator here. It's one of those, uh, two-stroke generators from, um, what is it called? Um, gosh, I forgot this. What's the store called? Um, the store that, that sells everything cheap. Oh, um, Harbor Freight. Yes. So the guy told me that he got this about a year ago and stuff, and, uh, he ran it for a while. Now it says it doesn't want to start up again. So he asked me to take a look at it and everything. He thinks that it might be the, um, uh, it might be the spark and stuff. But the thing is, is that I'm thinking um, on these guys and stuff, it says 50 to one <clears throat> oil gas, um, a mix and everything. And the thing is, on a 50 to 1 oil gas mixer thing, that's just barely any oil for lubrication. That really causes the motor to heat up really bad and everything, which would cause, uh, which would cause the coil and everything to heat up really bad and everything, and probably after a while and everything, I'll have to burn up the coil too, you know, gets really hot. So, um, on this and everything, um, I'm going to go ahead and, not only am I going to go ahead and uh, see if it has no spark, but I'm going to test for uh, excuse me. I'm going to test for cons compression and take it apart and see how the insides look at it. Because, like I said, this thing has this has been running on 50 to one, and it probably doesn't have any you know lubrication with that you know with that amount of oil. You know, um, what I like to do is I like to run these 50 to one. I like to run them actually a 32 to one, because that's what you need to run. Don't run them 50 to one or 40 to one. As that's just um, the makers or anything, they just want you to run it at 50 to 1 so that you can go ahead and wreck it and buy another one later on. So, it's, you know, when you're running a 50 to 1 thing on these two strokes, you're running it at a very, very, very low lubrication rate, a very small mix, and it's just not going to work out. You're going to burn up the engine, you know. And if you try it on motor, weed eaters and stuff, two strokes, especially weed eaters, chainsaws, they burn up real quick, you know. If you're working really hard and stuff, they'll burn up. It's better to go ahead and work these um, these uh, two strokes at 32 to one um, uh, air, uh, excuse me, gas and oil mix because that has enough oil that will lubricate the internal parts of the combustion chamber. Com combustion chamber. Okay, so so this is a um, two horsepower Chicago uh, General Electric. Nine, 800 to 900 uh, watt portable generator. Um, it's uh, very compact. Um, I guess this is where like, I guess it's like, this is where you plug it in, that's all you have. I don't see anything else. So, so this looks like right here would be the engine part and this back here would be the electrical part so see how do we do this first well I want to go ahead and start on it on the Go ahead and open the carburetor here. Open the oh 
Before that, I think I want to see some test on it first. to it first I want to go ahead and check the spark see if it does not have spark the guy like the guy thought it didn't have spark So I can see that it has, it looks like it has, around 50 pounds of compression here, 50 pounds of compression, that's not that good. That's not good at all. What I am surmising and stuff is that most likely since they had it at a 50 to 1 air fuel ratio, that the motor got really hot because it did not have enough lubrication and, uh, and had like the, the insides, the internals and stuff, were a lot, of, a lot of stress because not enough lubrication caused a lot of heat. And this heat would go ahead, uh, would kind of um, just basically uh, kill or fry the, um, the uh, the ignition coil of this thing, so. So probably, I'm thinking that probably it's going to be all scored up and stuff inside of it. The pistons and such. off all the little parts here. That's a cute little, um, how would you say, have a little air cleaner right here. You know, and here's your air box right there. Not much. off the carburetor first which you take off this little part right here
disconnect this. Take these little screws off and stuff, so I can take this little panel off. So I can go ahead and get to So I don't know if any of you are doing anything for Thanksgiving. I'm sure you probably are and everything. And then with um, all the restrictions mostly left left up from COVID, we're probably going to go see our parents and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to stay home. Um, basically take it easy. have this side panel off with, uh, with uh, you know, the power and stuff like that, an on-off switch, you know. There's a little bit of gas in here, but not too much. That's good. So if it makes a big spill, it won't be too bad at least. Okay. So big that should be off there. We'll go ahead and take off this fuel line. Take off. 
then Take the big huge tank off. So, <clears throat> okay, so we have So here we have on this dinosaur thing, here we have the coil and it looks like it from inside the generator it goes ahead and, and uh, produces the, this, the spark for it I guess. You know. But what happens is that uh, the generator produces a little bit of energy which goes to the coil which goes ahead and uh, on this corner if it goes ahead and steps it up into a much bigger and larger um, spark, uh, bigger partner thing to go ahead and spark on the spark plug. So that's how it works. So I don't know if any of you have anything planned for Thanksgiving, but I, I really don't have anything planned. I think just maybe just stay here, watch TV, um, do a little bit of work here at the house, maybe go to movies and stuff. Um, thing is, I know that people they'll take like about what is it? Uh, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yeah, like a four-day vacation off and everything. So. I, you know, everything's going to be, everything's going to be down for at least four days, you know, a lot of stuff, you know. These, I mean, I mean, who works on, on Thanksgiving, really, you know. Christmas, Thanksgiving and stuff, everybody tends to take off and uh, go see their parents and go see their family, loved ones and stuff, which is great and everything. <clears throat> 